Hey, hi. Uh, hello, everyone. So I'm Shravan. So I'm the joiner of this course. Uh, this course is completely belongs to Azure Data Engineering. So before that, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Shravan. I have totally 12 plus years of experience into IT industry. So I worked on multiple clouds like uh, AWS and Azure and DevOps and also development background like .NET. Um, okay. So this course is completely belongs to Azure Data Engineering. So in this course, I will cover different tools like uh, Azure Data Factory. It is one of the ETL tool and Azure Data Bricks and uh, PySpark, SQL and Python. Okay. The course duration is 60 days and the timings is 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. IST. Okay. The course duration is 60 days and the timings is 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. IST. Okay. So in this course, I will cover more than 20 plus real-time use cases in the Azure Data Engineer. Whatever we are doing, uh, our uh, daily activities and the project-related uh, real-time use cases, I will cover more than 20 plus real-time use cases. Okay. And most of the lab, I will conduct by using the chart GPT only. Right. And I will train you how we are going to get the solutions from the chart GPT based on our uh, client requirement or else. And also, every day we are uh, delivering the our sprint based work items, right? So, so our work also uh, will get the solutions from the chart GPT. I will try new. Okay, right. So, I will conduct these sessions from Monday to Friday, right? Monday to Friday, and the timings is 10 30 a.m. to 12 p.m. IST. And again, the course duration is 60 days. Okay. So every weekend means Saturday and Sunday, I will conduct the workshops means projects or as migrations or any important new concepts. Okay. I will conduct more than two hours for, especially for weekend workshops. Okay. Once we begin this course, right. So we will start by discussing the basics. Okay. So I will cover the uh, following topics, uh, basics like uh, uh, on-prem to uh, versus cloud and Azure cloud and regions, zones, portal creations, hierarchy, subscriptions, resource groups, and VNets, storage accounts, and uh, key walls. And also, I will uh, uh, I will cover this ADL as gen tools and uh, how we are going to inject this entry information to the key world, what type of replications available, right? So first, uh, uh, we'll discuss about these basics, okay? Right. After this basics, uh, I will start the Azure Data Factory uh, concepts, right? The first one like uh, uh, Azure Data Factory uh, portal creation, sorry, uh, service creation, right? Once the workspace is, uh, works, work, works, uh, space is uh, launched, so how we are going to launch the workspace? Once the uh, workspace is launched successfully, then, right, we have the different types of options available in Azure Data Factory like uh, integration runtimes, link to services, data sets, pipelines, activity. So we'll discuss each and everything in detail. Okay. There are different types of integrations runtime available based upon a business use case. We'll go for, uh, so whether, for example, if your data, which is available in within the cloud services, we'll go for the Azure integration runtime. Or if your data is available in on-prem, we'll go for the self hosting integration runtime, right? This integration runtime is acted as a gateway, right? Like a gateway to provide the connectivity from the source to distribution. Right. The next uh, uh, important service is link to services that we can call it as a simply a connection stream. This way it's going to authenticate whether you have the valid as access or not, something like. Next, we have the data sets. So data sets is going to represent data. For example, I have a huge amount of data within in different, different folders. I want to access uh, particular data in particular folder. This data set is going to represent the data, which uh, folder you want to access or which file you want to access. It is going to represent. Next, the pipelines, right? So the pipeline contains the n number of activities. Uh, we'll ex I will explain uh, each and everything activity in detail. We'll see the real-time practical scenarios. Like uh, there are multiple activities available in this Azure Data Factory. Uh, depends upon our use case. So uh, we'll go for the uh, activities, okay? Some labs, uh, I will show you the simple one copy activity. Some labs, I will show you the multiple activities, right? So we have different types of activities available like lookup activity, get metadata activity, filter activity, if for each copy, store procedure, right? Nested um, 
uh, for each uh, and switch activity we uh, will discuss in details okay next i will start with some scenarios tip uh, every day every project so we are doing uh, some everyday uh, normal uh, user stories right we are doing normal works so so i will cover uh, that type of scenarios as right the first scenario is we are going to filter the uh, we are going to select the filter activity in adf by using a dynamic copy next uh, how we are going to get the file names from folder dynamically and next uh, copy activity behavior and how we are going to uh, copy the data from source to sync by using adf right how we are going to connect the on prem sql server how we are going to move the data from on prem to a uh, sql databases and uh, there are two types of um, methods available in this adf like one first one is the full loop so at the initial time when we are doing the migrations from the on prem to azure first we are going to do the full load full load means so entire the dump data we are going to load from source to destination after the after that right so every day uh, the data is keep on uh, uh, insert into the source right so we are going to add the uh, latest data not for full data means full data already we are copied so now we are going to uh, load the latest data so with the help of incremental load, uh, we can achieve the latest uh, data. So, so for each and every uh, topic, so I will share the document and video and screenshots, right? And design and also scripts. Okay. For example, let me open uh, one of the full load concept here. Uh, full load concept. I will cover the multiple uh, scenarios. Okay for this full load and this is the design for the full load how we are going to load the data from on-prem to Azure and uh, we'll follow the some est estimations means uh, when we are uh, doing this uh, any task so we need to uh, prepare some estimations means we, we need some resources to achieve the uh, our uh, solution right so here we are uh, giving the estimations based upon our requirement and, and and also this document having the lab means a scripts right it having the procedures sql related things and each and every activity uh, i shared the screenshots okay i have added the screenshot in this document just instead of watching the video and pass the video and uh, you are trying to do your lab right so it will take uh, some disturbance at the time of the video watching and uh, doing your labs so simply you can open the document and see the screenshot and just you will finish your uh, tasks okay just i have added this uh, each and every uh, screenshot step by step okay step by step just you can see the screenshot and just um, you can uh, do your work okay right okay like this way so every lab it's related to real time only not for it, it is a simple things everything it will be complicated somewhat every day Whatever we are doing our work in project, it's uh, it's somewhat complicated, right? So I will explain explain in detail and easily. Okay, this is the, for every topic. I will share the documents. For example, let me uh, show you one of the important top uh, topic that is incremental load handling by the upper and lower bound values, right? First, we'll discuss about the design. After that, uh, so we'll execute the SQL scripts, right? And also based upon the screenshots, we'll follow the uh, procedure. This is the first step. Next, we'll go for the second step. Next, we'll go for the third step. We'll do one by one, one by one, right? So, so based upon this document, we'll, uh, I will uh, design the flow and we'll achieve the solutions. I will share the screenshot after the class, okay? So for every topic, I will share the documentation, okay? So once the ADF is completed, parallelly in the ADF, we, uh, we need the SQL uh, basics, okay? This SQL basics important for ADF as well as Databricks. So at the time of writing the Databricks into the notebooks, so we need the basics about the SQL and Python, okay? So I will, uh, uh, I will cover the uh, SQL basics and Python basics from scratch level, no worries, okay? So, we have the different types of triggers available in um, Azure Data Factory, like event based trigger, schedule trigger, thumbling window trigger. For day two, day three onwards, I will uh, include the one by one by one trigger uh, based upon the scenarios wise. So uh, I'm not going to waste the each and every topic every one hour. 
So all the topics uh, I'm going to mix into uh, every session so that we'll finish uh, our course as soon as possible. Okay. After the triggers, uh, so we have the data flows concept, like how we are going to create the pipelines. We have the data flows, right? Uh, data flows means simply we are applying the multiple transformations based upon the business use cases. So how we are going to join the mm, multiple uh, transformations, advanced joins, conditional splits, how we are going to remove the duplicates, how we are going to check the conditionals, rank, dense rank, row number. Depends upon business use case, uh, we'll go for this one by one uh, uh, topic, okay? So in the ADF, uh, I will cover the slowly changing dimensions, type one and type two. Same thing, type one and type two, we'll discuss in Databricks as well. So once the ADF is completed, we'll go for the Databricks. So first we'll start the Databricks introdu introduction and Databricks creations. That means the uh, workspace creations, clusters creations. There are two types of clusters available like uh, all-purpose cluster and job clusters. So, so all-purpose cluster means the fully whatever we are doing the everyday day-to-day -day, uh, development activities, right? It must and should be run on 24 by 7, right? So uh, we'll, we'll discuss in detail and Spark as well as PySpark architecture, right? How the Spark is working, right? Uh, once the, our code is completed, when we submit the code into the Spark, so how the Spark is going to behave here? So what are the components available in the Spark architecture? We'll discuss in details, right? And also, uh, we'll see the notebooks, how we are going to write the notebooks, how we are going to execute the sales, right? Uh, we'll see the widgets and uh, we'll see the DBFS. DBFS means Databricks file system, right? How we are going to connect the multiple sources into the Databricks. So DBFS is one of the source, okay? And also we'll see the, how we are going to read the and write the data from different sources like Blob Storage or ADL as Gen2 or a SQL databases. And also we'll see the different types of formats like Excel, Parquet, XML, JSON, all right? So we'll see the things easily. Okay, next, next uh, we'll discuss in detail about the PySpark. Okay, PySpark introduction architecture. And uh, I will cover the data frames only, not for RDD, because most of the projects, so nowadays they are implementing data frames only, not for RDD. There is no scope for uh, RDD for current projects. Okay, next we'll see the joins and types and the different transformations, functions, and delta tables, right? Slowly changing dimensions, type one and type two. And also parallelly, uh, we'll discuss about the Python as well because, so I will uh, cover the uh, Python basics at the time of this uh, uh, PySpark uh, RLs or Databricks uh, sessions. So, um, because whatever we are writing the uh, PySpark code, right, to going to read the data from different sources. So we need to know about the Python basics like uh, loops, data types, variables, exception handling, methods, right, Lambda functions, right? Okay, we'll discuss in details, uh, in details, each and everything. Okay, we'll see the slowly changing dimension, type one and type two, and the SQL server, right? After the course, after the course means in parallel, uh, uh, every weekend, uh, I will uh, uh, show you these workshops, right? Some of the workshops, uh, we'll see the three projects. The first project is, so here I'm entering the on-prem SQL server. So we are going to connect the on-prem SQL server uh, to uh, connect the your data and uh, doing the, some transformations by using the data flows concept and uh, read the data, write the data, embed the duplicates, okay? And null check square, we are going to maintain the layer wise, like so here we are using the ADL gen to maintaining the layer wise uh, structure like raw data, pre-processed data, processed data, right? So by using data flows concept, we can do one by one step and after that, so we are going to move the data into the synapse. Okay, right. And the second project is, and the second project is completely belongs to Azure Databricks. So by using this PySpark code and Python code, uh, here we are using the Databricks notebooks and uh, write the business logic into the uh, Databricks, means the transformations. And finally, once the notebook is completed, we are going to integrate these uh, notebooks into the Azure Data Factory. So we'll see the end-to-end -end, uh, real-time project flow for uh, this uh, uh, data factory as well as uh, Databricks. And finally, we are maintaining the um, 
our destination is synapse. We'll write the data into synapse. Okay, I will cover synapse uh, topics as well. Okay, and the third project is which is related to real time streaming data analytics. So here we are uh, data handling. So by using the Azure Event Hubs or IoT devices, we'll see. And also I will cover the real time scenarios based interview questions with answers. I will share the documents for each and every uh, with the real time answers. It's not like a Google definitions. Okay. And also I will conduct the mock interviews. So before third uh, mock interviews, I will share the few documents like to tell me about yourself, day to day activities. Okay. So complete the project end to end flow some. Okay. And also repeated interview questions with answers I will share. You. And also I will share the uh, resume sample resumes and we'll see the resume preparations as well. Okay. Right. The course duration is 60 days. And uh, if you want fast track also available, that is 30 days. You need to attend morning and evening sessions. Okay. And uh, right. That's it for uh, this demo. If you are interested, uh, feel free to reach me on this my number and uh, this is my email ID. Okay. Thank you.